hey folks, um, going to be adding something to the farmhouse uh, today. Uh, something I've not done before, which is kind of surprising with uh, all the technology that we try to incorporate into a rural uh, setting. Um, but they're going to be adding a uh, outdoor 4G LTE uh, router. Um, this is the uh, Kudi LT300 and uh, what it is is it's a self-contained unit. Um, it has the SIM card in there, um, which we obviously uh, provide and, and pay for monthly. Um, but it has a mount where it can mount to a pole on the back. It has all the radios inside, and then in this compartment here, there. Let's see if you can take a look. There are two uh, Ethernet ports. One of them is PoE, so you can actually um, just connect the one single wire, provide the power, and also get the um, uh, communications back out from that same port. Um, uh, you could also use a 12 volt um, adapter if you wanted to do that as well. Um, but uh, pretty excited about getting this in. I've done some preliminary tests and um, out here in the, in, the, in the rural area, the country, we're able to get about 30 megabits um, per second uh, down and surprisingly we're getting about 10 uh, megabits per second up which is uh, pretty good for for us out here we don't have access to cable or dsl uh, anything like that so um, this is only a cat 4 modem so it's not very powerful uh, as far as um, technology goes it's pretty old and pretty outdated but out here it's self-contained weatherproof we're going to give it a shot so we're going to mount it on top of our, our house, and we have a pole that actually used to go to a, um, an old uh, analog uh, TV antenna. So we still have that pole there. We're going to go ahead and take off what's currently there, which is a, um, uh, an outdoor Wi-Fi unit, and we're going to replace it with this uh, cellular LTE um, modem. So we'll see how it goes. Now here's a view from the ground looking at the chimney and the post that we're going to be mounting this to. Um, currently there's a old uh, 2G, 3G Wilson signal booster uh, antenna up there. We'll probably leave that there, uh, but there's also a, a Unify access point. Uh, we're going to take that down and replace the um, uh, Cuddy um, LTE router uh, at that spot and, uh, and do some uh, trials up there and then uh, hopefully that'll be our mount. All right, here's the old Wi-Fi unit that we're gonna take off, uh, and then the old 3G uh, booster antenna that uh, is just hanging there. So, all right, we'll get this done. Okay, we decided to take down the old 3G uh, antenna as well as the Wi-Fi uh, unit that was up there. Um, have the the Cuddy mounted and uh, we're just adding power to it now to test it and uh, we'll see how it goes. So up here with my oldest. Say hi. All right, we'll report back. Okay, the project is complete. It took a little longer than I anticipated. I had to run new Cat5e. You can see though, got uh, full bars. We're all hooked up out here in the country in the farmhouse there. Did a speed test, got about 30 megabytes per second. I said megabits earlier, so megabytes per second uh, down and uh, just about 20 uh, megabytes per second up. So fantastic for, uh, for being out here in the sticks and uh, uh, for this being a category four modem, so can't beat it. I'll give a little walk around of the unit. There's basically just the Cat 5E going in. And then the unit itself. So pretty pleased. We'll see how this uh, works out in the long run. Okay, with the installation being complete, that uh, wraps up this video 
uh, on the um, outdoor 4G LTE Cuddy router. Uh, if you have any questions, definitely leave them in the comments. Uh, otherwise, uh, thanks for watching. Take care.